year ago I went skydiving. <laughs> Woo! And it was a dream come true. I checked it off my list. And honestly, when I was up in the plane, I thought, I have way too much peace for what is happening. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Why am I so happy? But I felt like the Lord did this incredible act when I was skydiving about trust. And what happened is I got up there. Now, I picked the easiest way to skydive, okay? I picked the one where they just strap me onto someone, and then that person does everything. So literally, all I do is I step onto the plane, and then I sit there, and then I step off the plane. <laughs> and there's someone else there, and they know all that. They have the little, like, watch thing that tells them how high we are and how fast we're flying. And, how much longer until I can't breathe, and then it, you know, like when to pull the cord and when to steer, and so they know all this stuff, and I just get to live in bliss. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I tried to scream, but my face was headed this way and the air was headed this way, so I was like, <laughs> So I, um, so we get down to the ground and we land, and it, I mean, honestly, it was so smooth. It was so easy. It was like he just told me, okay, now we're gonna do this, and now we're gonna do this, and now we're gonna do this, and then all of a sudden I was just walking and there was a parachute behind me. And the Lord told me two things. The first one is, I could trust that I was not going to die because I knew the person who was in charge of me had a great investment in that moment. It wasn't because he loved me. It was because he didn't want to die. <laughs> he knew that if he crashed us, it was going to crash both of us, right? So I had so much faith that he was going to do whatever it took to make sure that I could land. The Lord has an investment in you. He loves you. He wants to see you succeed. He wants to see you birth the dreams that he put inside of you before you were born. The second thing, last point, two, two points. The second point is, it's not your job to know the how. When Elisha was standing there and the servant was looking at the thing, he literally was thinking, how? How are we gonna do this? This is a huge army, it's coming against me, I don't know how to overcome. And then all of a sudden, the Lord unveiled his plan that behind the scenes, he was taking care of it. Oftentimes in our lives, we don't dream the dreams of God because we get stuck at the question of how. I also have noticed in my own life that if I look at the how for too long, hope deferred sinks in, and discouragement and defeat, because we were never meant to carry the how. Even when we, before Jesus died on the cross and we didn't know he loved us, we weren't meant to know the how to get to God. He always wanted to take care of the how. He always wanted to make the plan to get to us to do what he had in mind. He's so good at the how. Let me tell you this. If you have a how in your life, like I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know how the money's going to come in. I don't know how I'm going to find this job. I don't know how anything. That is the breeding ground for the miraculous. That is where the power of God comes into play. You have to face a how to see God do the impossible. So when you face the how, you need to remember, hey, this is not actually my responsibility. Let's take this back to the, the parachute. None of the how even, I didn't even know the how. Let's just say it, that my instructor got knocked out. I mean, I, there was no how involved for me. <laughs> if he was gone, I would have been gone too because I was trusting that someone else knew the how. One time, me and Justin, it was our dream to go to Hawaii. I'd never gone to Hawaii. We got a piggy bank, and we were like, we're going to save for Hawaii. So we're going to put all of our spare change in our, you know, in our pockets after the day. Put your change in. So after a month, we were like, oh, the piggy bank's almost full. Let's check it. And it was like $20. <laughs> 
I thought, well, this might take a while. <laughs> that month, Justin got a call from someone who offered him a job, and the bonus for the job was a trip to Hawaii. <laughs> Fully paid. And here's what it showed me. I don't have to know the how. God puts a dream in my heart, and I just give it up to him, and he knows how to fulfill what he promised. He knows how. There is a movement of God coming, and you have to be in unity with the body and what God is doing, and you have to trust that God is for you, that he is parachute connect, he's like clipped on to you. He does not want you to fail. It is in his best interest. He is invested in you. He does not want you to fail. And he wants to take care of the how.